In this video, we will install and remove quad flat package chip. Match the orientation indicator mark to the PCB indicator. Tin the corner pad. Ensure that the pins of the QFP chip are perfectly aligned with the solder pads by matching the pins to the corresponding points on the pads. Solder the diagonal pin to maintain the alignment. Apply a sufficient amount of flux onto the solder pads in the soldering area. It is a liquid chemical substance that helps improve soldering quality and efficiency. Gently touch the soldering iron to the solder joint and wait for it to melt. Be mindful of the heat from the soldering iron to avoid excessive soldering that may lead to a solder bridge. Use the solder wick to remove excess solder. Pay extra attention to ensuring that the number of pins accommodated by the QFP package aligns with your design, as any discrepancies may result in wiring density issues around the QFP.
Due to the small size and pitch of QFP component pins, they are more fragile and susceptible to damage during transportation. It's recommended to use specialized wafer packaging for protection. Additionally, receive professional training before soldering QFP and always maintain a light touch during soldering. This is one of the most common QFP soldering faults. The high quality metal filler and inertia seem to tend to damage QFP packaging in some way. It's advisable to perform the entire process on an anti-static workbench and wear anti-static wristbands. Additionally, for QFP components with high pin density, appropriate lighting and magnification are recommended. Typically, lighting magnifiers with a power of 3 to 4 diopters are sufficient. Drag soldering like this is most suitable and efficient method to solder QFP. For drag soldering, the beveled and hoof tip shapes are most appropriate because they allow the user to drag the soldering tip over multiple surfaces at once. Clean the flux residue with flux cleaner or IPA. Now we will remove same chip with hot air. Apply heat on the pins in a way that solder on all pins melt simultaneously. Gently hold the chip with tweezers.